Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I have a quick tip for Sublime Text that I find extremely useful. Um, right now I am over here in Eclipse. Uh, if anybody's ever programmed in Eclipse before, um, you know that they have uh, this really nice functionality where you can hold in command and click on a function or method and it will, and it will take you directly to that definition. Um, it would be nice if Sublime Text had something like this. Um, uh, they do have some keyboard shortcuts, but I really like that uh, click functionality. Uh, it um, helps me out with my workflow just to be able to get there uh, a lot quicker. Um, so if I open up Sublime Text here, uh, you can see that they don't have anything like this. If I do control click, uh, it just does a right click. Um, if I do a command click, command click just creates multiple, multiple cursors. Um, so in order to set this functionality up, we're going to have to uh, create a special file. And so if I open up terminal here, the directory where we need to create this file is in our home library and then application support sublime text three and that is in packages and then user. So let's go ahead and navigate there. <clears throat> and now I already have the name of this file copied to my clipboard and the name of this file is default space and then these parentheses osx dot sublime dash mouse map so i'm going to create that file oh, and it looks like i need to put this in quotes here okay so create that file and now you can open up this up in any text editor of your choice uh, i have a sublime shortcut here in my terminal so i'm going to go ahead and uh, open this up in Sublime Text. Oh, and I forgot that that command is uh, just that, okay? So now I have this file opened up, and this is gonna be very similar to uh, any other of the uh, configuration files within Sublime. Um, so we're gonna uh, open this up here, okay? And then the first option here is gonna be called button, and then we want to set this equal to button one. And actually, let me make these double quotes. Our second value here is going to be count, and that's going to be one. The next one is going to be called modifiers, and this is going to be set this equal to control and the reason we're setting this equal to control is because uh, like I said before um, in Eclipse it's command click to get to the function definition uh, but uh, command click already has some functionality within Sublime it's to make these uh, multiple cursors uh, so instead we're going to use control so now we only have two more to go uh, this one is called press command and set that equal to drag underscore select and then the last one here we actually set the command and the command that we want is go to underscore definition and let's save that and now I'm going to restart sublime and go down here and open it back up and now let's see if those changes took effect um, Okay, so that is not working. Uh, let's see if we can find where we made a mistake. Let's make sure that we put this file in the right directory. Okay, that's where the file needs to go. And let's make sure that the file's there. Okay, so it looks like whenever I uh, left the quotes off the first time, it uh, put in some spaces here. So um, uh, this there shouldn't be any spaces here between these parentheses. Um, so let's try to move that file. And I think I still have this saved on my clipboard. So now we'll put this in quotes. Actually, need to take these quotes out here. Back that. Okay, so that should be good. And let's check that. Okay, that should be good. Let me clear the screen. And don't save that. Okay, now I'm going to restart Sublime Text again. 
and pull it back up. And now let's see if those changes took effect. Okay, so that works. Now if we hold in control and click on any of these uh, functions or methods, uh, you can see that it takes us directly to the definition. Um, so that's extremely nice, especially in uh, whenever you have bigger projects with uh, tons of files. Uh, instead of uh, digging through to find those definitions, it's really nice just to be able to uh, uh, click on those from your imported modules and it, have it take you directly to the code. Um, so yeah, hopefully this tip was useful for you guys. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section and be sure, sure to subscribe for future tips and tutorials. And thank you for watching.